Brontosaurus. This was Stegosaurus, a ponderous dinosaur that resembled an armored tank lumbering over Mesozoic plains a hundred million years ago. Platyosaurus, limbs like a kangaroo, walked in a semi-upright position. Allosaurus, the grim hunter, caught as he appeared devouring his prey, an attitude shown even more vividly in a painting hanging on a nearby wall. Boy, I'd hate to run into him on the street. He was vicious, all right. But remember, not all these prehistoric monsters had at his disposition. Look at that chart showing the family tree of dinosaurs. You'll see that by the time they died out, some 60 million years ago, these great lizards had evolved into several different branches. Some were meat eaters, but others, like the giant brontosaurus, were strictly vegetarian. One group was even spoon-billed, like a duck. By now, we had entered the museum's great Jurassic Hall, showing another period in time, an era when the gentle spoonbills fled before the most dreaded creature of all, the king of dinosaurs, Tyrannosaurus rex. By way of contrast, Protoceratops was a shrimp, not much larger than today's Cocker Spaniel. Most amazing of all, dinosaurs, like their modern descendants, the lizards, grew from little eggs. It makes you wonder whether lizards aren't related to birds. Prehistoric birds, like the giant pterosaur in this painting, looked like flying lizards. By the time you've seen all the displays and studied all the charts, you realize that man and mammals, the most highly developed creatures of our time, are actually newcomers to this planet. Earlier life was a lot simpler in form, and the farther back you go in time, the simpler life becomes. A few hours later, we returned to the main floor, exhausted. There was so much to see, and we'd seen it twice. Hey, look at that medicine man. What medicine man? Up there, in the canoe seems to be staring right at us. It's scary, as though he's giving us the evil eye or trying to, to hypnotize us from out of the past. I couldn't get excited about a wooden Indian, not even an hypnotic one. All I could think about was the last note I made in my diary. The farther you go back in time, the simpler life becomes. And then it started, our journey to the beginning of time. I had promised Jojo we'd go rowing on our way back. Last one ends a rotten dinosaur egg. Hey, I want to row, you guys. You're too little, Jojo. Let Ben and Tony row. You stay up front. Why, oh, yeah. Don't be a forehead. Say, there's a lantern up here. I'm going to hang it on the bow. How long do you think we're going to be out here all night? Always be prepared when you go to sea, Doc. You never know what might come up. Oh, for the life on the open sea. If Jojo's going to sing, I'm heading back for sure. You wanted to row, didn't you? Okay, shut up and row. I'm rowing. I'm rowing. Look, there's a cave up ahead. A cave? It couldn't... Say, it is a cave. Let's have a better look at it. It's a cave, all right. It's marked with an Indian hex sign, like the canoe we saw in the museum. Hmm, wouldn't know what that means. Let's row inside. It won't hurt to explore a little. Gee, it's pitch black in here. See, I told you to be prepared. I'm lighting the lantern. Good boy, Jojo. But I don't think we're going to need it for long. I see daylight around the bend. Sure enough. I guess this brings you out to the other side of the lake. When we emerged from the cave, we realized that we were not on the other side of the lake. We seemed to have entered a far greater body of water. In fact, we seemed to have entered a whole new world. Apparently, we had drifted into a great river, but which one? It was too wide for the East River, too deserted for the Hudson. It was like no river we had seen before, and its surface was coated with a peculiar crust. 
it looks like ice. Spring. There'll be ice in May. It's gotten much colder, too. It's ice, all right. Wow! And look at those mountains! If we can cross that without an icebreaker, I'd like to know how. We'll make it. Well, if we're going, we might as well be warm. Take that. It never occurred to us to turn back. Our knapsacks carried sweaters, food, water, so why not push on? We have to protect those big ears of yours. Come on. Hand me the lamp. Together now. It's getting worse. Where can we be, Doc? I don't know. But let's go a bit farther. We can always find our way back. Careful, Jojo. I'm okay. Don't worry. It's... Watch out there. It's all right. It'll hold. It might crack. Jump out, everybody. We'll haul the boat over the ice. Let's get going now. Come on. Easy. Wait, I'll get out. Hold it now. Hold it. Watch the oar. Watch the oar. Jojo, this notebook happens to be my diary. Great. Let's put down what happened today. The first day. The big question is, where are we? I have an idea, but it's pretty far-fetched. Besides, a good scientist never jumps to conclusions without fact. I haven't told the others. Why worry them now? If I'm right as to our whereabouts, we'll all know soon enough. The following morning, we set out again. It was still cold, but the river was open now. And while there was still ice on both sides of us, we could see trees up ahead. The air began to grow warmer. We could see more signs of vegetation along the banks. Should we risk moving in? Let's get closer. Marvelous! Have you ever seen anything that big? It's an elephant. An elephant, eh? Ever hear of an elephant roaming the woods of New York State? Or of any state, for that matter? He might have escaped from someplace. I don't think so. I don't think that's an elephant. Oh, 
course it's an elephant. What else Let could it be? Let me go to those glasses, will you, Doc? Sure, Tommy. If that's an elephant, I'll eat my beret, pom-pom and all. Let me look. Quiet, you two. He isn't looking at us anyway. Hello? 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 Hey, you. Did you run away from the zoo? How about some peanuts? Don't tease him, Jojo. You're playing with fire. Did you ever see an elephant that big? Always tusked like those and covered with all that hair? I tell you, that's like no elephant on Earth. Looks like an elephant to me. Take a good look, boys. That is a prehistoric mammoth. My words fell like sledgehammers on the boys' ears. They knew I was right. Fellas, I know it sounds crazy, but the last mammoth died 10,000 years ago. This one must have been preserved in ice. He escaped when it thawed. Mm-hmm. And where did all that ice come from? What do you mean? Ben, the mammoth lived just before the Ice Age. You mean we're going back in time? That's impossible. Tell that to the mammoth. There's no question about it. We've gone over a million years back into time. Let's go back, Doc. Why? This is the chance of a lifetime. The trip any scientist would give his eye teeth to make. I say let's go on. We still have plenty of supplies and heck, we can always find our way back. Next morning, the character of the country had changed again. This helped convince Tony and Ben that maybe we were going back in time after all. I was sure of it. No place on Earth changed so rapidly from one kind of terrain to another. We had left the ice far behind. Now the current of the river was too strong for rowing, so we put on a tow line and, with Jojo steering, slowly pulled the boat upstream. Fellas, a pad. I found a pad. Going straight into the forest. Hey, you guys, what is it? Hang on, I'll pull you in. Come on, let's follow it a little way. Maybe that big elephant did it. Let's go. Come on. But stay real close now, fellas. We're safer if we're together. That's right. Hey, be careful. There may be something to this caveman stuff. Look, there's a fireplace inside. This must be the home of some prehistoric man. Ben's caveman. What do we do if he's in there right now? Look at all this high grass. He isn't here. We'll find out. Anybody home? Somebody was here. And he must have been a hunter. Uh, uh, oh, gosh, this is heavy. He must have been really strong. What is it, Doc? Antlers from some kind of deer. Yeah, but what kind of deer? An awful big kind. Boy, this must weigh a hundred pounds at least. What's this over here? It's too heavy for me. It's 
from a mammoth. Let me. It's not even whole. It's only part of a mammoth tusk. That's right. It's not even half of his tusk. The whole thing was over eight feet long. Let's take it home with us. Sure. Take this along and leave the boat behind. What a wallop this must have. This must be the club he used to kill the man. You mean to say he'd go out hunting just with that? I sure hope he's not around. That'd be the end. Suppose he's here. Listen. If he comes in, maybe we can sneak through that passageway right back there. Let's check that opening. Maybe he's still around. These are prehistoric drawings. They were all done by cavemen. They're pretty good. They're excellent. What style? Bison and deer. I guess he drew everything he hunted. He probably painted them for good luck in hunting. Or there may have been some religious meaning attached to them. I know drawings like this have been discovered in France and Spain, too. They're almost always of animals. Whoever painted these was no beginner. He had talent. It couldn't have been easy. Now look at that. We saw a mammoth yesterday. And which of us could have drawn it half so well? Well, don't forget, that ax is his, too. Just because he can paint doesn't necessarily mean he's friendly. That's right. Hey, Doc, why can't I take a souvenir? Tony's right, Jojo. We're going to have trouble enough traveling as it is. We don't want to load ourselves down. Tony's gone. Tony! Hey, come on, Tony. We're heading back to the boat. Where are you going? I'm just going to take a couple of pictures.
can't see her anywhere. Have you looked carefully? Of course, but there's not a trace of him. Come on down, Jojo. We'll have to make a search. But they're woolly. Gosh, the big one beat him. Come on, Jojo. We've got to find Tony. near an animal trap. Hey, let me see the point. The point's really sharp. Out of the way. Take a picture with the spear. Hold it like this. Out of the way, fellas. Our first caveman. Ah, Jojo. Hold it. Smile. Beautiful. Tony is drying off as I write this. We have all decided to continue our journey to the beginning of time. To recall that geologic time chart at the museum, scientists say that life has existed on Earth for some 500 million years. I estimate that so far we've traveled back only about one or two million. If I'm right, we've just passed through an era known as the Pleistocene period and stand now on the threshold of the tertiary an age that lasted 60 million years. The climate was warm. There was plenty of food. Perfect conditions for the world to burst forth with a great variety of wildlife. Go, 
such a look. Huh? Over there on the opposite bank. Gazelles, just like in Africa. I've never seen so many animals in my whole life. Gazelles, antelopes, elephants, too. No, it looks like an elephant, but it's a kind of offshoot. See the way his tusks grow from his lower jaw? He's a dinotherium. The word is Greek for terrible beast, but he didn't last too long. Probably because his tusks were useless for fighting. Uh-oh, look, there's a lioness. And she's got her fangs bared for hunting. Mmm, that's no lioness. That's the meanest killer of the tertiary period. A saber-toothed tiger. Vultures seem to sense when old saber-tooth is on the prowl. They follow him, knowing that dinner is near at hand. Look at those animals run. Not much different from the giraffes in our zoo, are they? This is the period in which most modern day life began. And while no one mentioned it, I knew we were all thinking the same thing. What lies ahead on this mysterious river, carrying us back farther and farther into time? Better get some more branches, Jojo. We'll need protection against this blazing sun. Okay. back and look for him. He may be in trouble. I'm going this way. You look over there. Right. He should be near. only doc crawling. I guess he hasn't had any luck either. Come on.
you, Joe? Didn't you hear us calling you? Why didn't you answer? Give me a hand. What a beauty. Isn't he something? We'll eat them tonight for dinner. Let me have him. Good work, boy. It's a pip. He must weigh 10 pounds at least. Jojo the hunter, that's me. When Jojo returned to the boat, he was so proud of his catch, no one could be angry with him. To honor the occasion, we decided to name this point in the river Whale Bay. Seemed like such a good idea that from then on, we named every landmark along the way, just like regular explorers do. We called that mountain in the distance Thunder Mountain because of the violent storm that overtook us there. We're spending the night on the boat. It's too wet for a fire and too risky ashore without one. The animals we've seen up till now have been familiar, even if they're not quite the same as the ones we know in the 20th century. But soon, we should be meeting wildlife completely strange. Animals that died out long before the arrival of man. Home seems so far away. Secretly, I've begun to wonder back to sleep. I was just cleaning the lamp. A little flame. Just a flame. But it meant safety for all of us. What a moment it must have been when man first discovered fire. Jojo. I'm not worried about crocodiles. I'm just afraid I'll freeze to death. This water is like ice today. Jojo! 
Jojo! Don't make any sudden move. Fire! Quick! Fire! The tertiary period had such an endless variety of animals that it was impossible to keep track of them all. monster. Is he very dangerous? Nah, he's a vegetarian. A you into Ethereum. What? You into Ethereum. What a tongue twister. What's so funny? That's his name. All animals have scientific names. Latin and Greek. That's so a scientist anywhere knows what everyone else is talking about. See? For example, Ethereum is Greek for beef. Now he's called a Uinta theory because his bones were first found in the Uintas Mountains of Utah. Uinta theorem, get it? Sure, Doc, we get it. But boy, it's still a tongue twister. Ah. <laughs> Jojo, it's morning.
Ororacus, carnivorous ancestor of the ostrich, and he almost got me. Before the tertiary period began, our world passed through the Mesozoic era, its middle life. The Mesozoic era began 180 million years ago. It was the age of dinosaurs. Where are the dinosaurs? I don't see any. There's lots of rocks, and that's all. There, Jojo. What's that? Where? That little thing? That's a giant lizard. Looks like a turtle to me. Not a very big one, either. Look, Jojo, dragons! Flying monsters! Holy smoke! Millions, too. Gosh, they have funny faces. Pteranodon, the largest flying reptile known. Aren't they birds? Remember that painting at the museum? Oh, yeah, the flying lizards. These are some of the first birds. Weird-looking things, aren't they? Look out! They've seen us! Here they come! Okay, Jojo? They're going away. I hope they don't come back. Why, that was close. They only wanted to look at us. Look at us, huh? Like the spider looks at a fly. We didn't have to worry anyhow. It says here in my notes that they only eat fish. Oh, sure. That's because they never tasted a boy before. If they ever tasted a boy, just once, you'd see if they want to eat fish anymore, crazy birds. For sure, fellas. Don't slip. Keep pulling. Wet things off. It's awfully chilly out here. Come on, bird babe. Let's go. Looks a lot different from anything we've seen so far, doesn't it? And how? Trees. All different kinds. Shows you how much plant life has changed through the ages. That one over there is almost like a weed. And those are like the trees you see at home. Those tall ones are pine trees, aren't they, Doc? Mm, not quite, Tony, but they are similar. They seem to have a lot of rosin in them, just like pine. Should make a swell fire. Some of these plants will remain just as they are until our time. Others will keep on changing and developing. That's the whole process of evolution. When an animal or a plant has a good chance to survive... Doc, Ben, Jojo! Wow! That's a Styracosaurus. You can tell from all that armor he's built for fighting. Not too bright, though. His head is six feet long, but his brain is no bigger than a cat. Look, 
there was a stegosaurus. Just like the one we saw in the museum, remember? Think it's the same one? <laughs> it might be, Jojo. Who knows? Now you can see how tough its hide is. It would take big teeth to penetrate that. Of course, that's his defense. For offense, he uses his spiked tail like a club. Look, a spoonbill. Hmm, looks like a cross between a duck and a kangaroo. Just like the trachodon we saw at the museum. Incredible, isn't it? Will you, Doc? I want to get a good look at him so I can tell my kids about it someday. Thanks. You know, Brontosaurus means thunder lizard. Whoever gave him that name reasoned that when a giant his size roams the earth, the ground beneath him would rumble like thunder. spotted our first brontosaurus today. What an effort it must be for him to support his enormous weight out of water. It's difficult to imagine anything so huge being alive. And yet he seems gentle enough. We're going to try to investigate him at close range. Going close, Ben, there's no reason to worry. He's too stupid. Go on, Ann. I know, but he's awfully big. Well, let's go just a little closer. I want to get a good look at it. Tony's right. He's turning this way. Let's get going, Ben. Hard on the left door. Right. Wait, let me take a picture. I've got to have a shot at this. What a terrific picture. Nobody's ever seen a dinosaur before. I'll never have this chance again. Hold it steady, fellas. In a moment, I'll have it. Okay, fellas. I think I have a good one. He spotted us. Let's get out of here before he comes any closer. Twilight, we camped on the riverbank, and I read my friends what I had written in the diary about our day's adventure. There's something moving on the other side of the river, boys. Something big. It's the Stegosaurus. Golly, I wish we could see it better. Yeah, it's hard to make out. Look, there's something else heading straight towards you. A Ceratosaurus. Look at the Stegosaurus. He's getting ready to meet an attack. See how he goes for the stairs? 
stegosaur's neck? There's no armor there. Next morning, we set out to inspect the battlefield. The slow-moving Stegosaurus, driving home his spiked tail, had severely wounded his enemy. But few animals, no matter how large or how well-armored, could withstand an attack by a dreaded Ceratosaurus. The Stegosaur did not live to enjoy his victory. Maybe he's only asleep. Oh, no. He's dead, all right. Come on, fellas. Let's examine him. I'm sure glad he's dead. I wouldn't want to be here if he weren't. What a brute. You have to see him close up to know how big he really is. He looks just like a big tank to me. Joe, our poor Jojo. He so wanted to take home a souvenir. It was pointless to ask him what he would do with a live Stegosaurus. Why, if I brought a Stegosaurus home, Dad and I could go for long walks after supper with it. Sure, Jojo. You could put a leash around his neck and amaze your friends. Seriously, fellas, what do you say we get right to work on him, huh? We can start out by measuring him. And maybe get some facts that will surprise the museum. Learn firsthand about prehistoric life. What it was really like. Now let's make the most of this and get to work. I'll begin the inspection. And I'll photograph him. Let's go. I'll get him from every angle. All right, we'll start with his head. Get a little farther over, can you? There. That's the right position. Meanwhile, I'll begin taking measurements. 
Oh, golly, I left the diary in the boat. Jojo, go get it, please. Why do I always have to go? I'll go on. Then we can take down all the measurements. Very well, I'll get it. But I'm doing it for science, aren't Good boy. I? Now, Tony, take a picture of this portion only. Just a headshot, okay? Doc, I have a notebook here, if it'll help you any. Thanks, this will be fine. All right, give us a hand, will you, Ben? Let's start from the head. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. Nine paces right to here. Nine paces, that's about 20 feet. Have you written it down? Yep, now let's measure the plate. Okay, let's go. One, two, three, four, five, six. Three feet high. One, two, three, four, five, six. And three feet wide at the base, too. Got it? Three feet. How did it happen? Trampled right over it. A giant, judging by the traces he left. Must have been a monster, a brute. Did you see him? <laughs> Look at it. It was this way when I got here. All smashed to pieces. We're finished. It's a complete wreck. At least the food's still here. Hey, Doc, look at this. It's the diary and it's all right. Thank goodness it's all right. What good would that do us? Don't worry, Jojo. We can build ourselves a raft. That's a great idea. There are a lot of trees around and we have an axe. You'll see. Don't worry. We'll make it. There's plenty of wood. Come on. We're not going to give up now, are we, buddy boy? Once again, we were traveling the mysterious river that took us back into time. A veil of mist enshrouded us, and we knew we were leaving the Mesozoic era behind. Ahead would be the Paleozoic era, the ancient life of our planet. Ancient life. It looked incredibly old, and yet young and green, too. We had now traveled more than 300 million years back into time, when life was at its slow beginning. More and more, I realized the truth of that note in my diary. The farther you go back into time, the simpler life becomes. A rat will never get through this swamp. Well, Doc, what do we do now? We'll have to go through on foot. If we can't make it, we'll just have to turn back. 
take only what you need. We have to travel light. Diary. Okay. Jojo. Jojo. Come on, we got a lot of work to do. Jojo. I'm sure I hear a cricket. He's, and he's crazy, right here that someplace. Jojo's playing games. We've got all the work to do. Don't forget the matches. Hey, look. I found some kind of an insect. Let's see. Honest, the centipede. You can always trust old Jojo. You dope, the only cricket here is you. You're so smart. I'm sure I heard it. I'll find it. Watch your step. This swamp could swallow you up.
I hear it. It's Jojo! It's Jojo! It seems to be coming from that direction. Over there, boys. Careful now. It's dangerous. We don't want anyone to get hurt in this swamp. He heard us! He heard us! we were relieved to see the baby of the group safe. But doggone it, he had to be taught a lesson. After all, there was quicksand all around. That little escapade of his could have been dangerous. We didn't know if you were dead or alive. I was alive, all right. That lizard knows that. Look at your pants, all muddy. You need a change of clothes. Leave me alone. Come on. Come on, Jojo. Mm -hmm. Quick way, you guys. Jojo, come here. Don't be sore. Look, we're all sleeping in great style tonight. We've made a fine bed for you. Ah, he's a sore head. What in the world are you looking for, Doc? It's the diary. I can't find it. it. Must be in here someplace. I packed it myself. You put it in your knapsack. I saw you. Take another look. It isn't here. You must have lost it on the way then, Doc. Maybe when you were climbing over all those trees. What'll I do now? If we went back, we'd never find it. Not in these swamps. We don't even know which way we came. The diary. Anything but the diary. All my notes, directions, everything's gone. Jojo, the diary! Where'd you find it? If you can act grown up, we'll put you on a leash. Us dogs can find anything. You're the greatest bloodhound in the world. Sit down and tell us all about that, Lizard. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. And all I <laughs> we'll dedicate it to you, Jojo. Doc, put in how he found it. Listen, don't make fun of him. That's the first scientific discovery he's ever made. Before long, we passed into the next era, the Precambrian age, the age before life half a billion years ago. Nothing was seen to crawl or to fly. No blade of grass grew from the earth, for the earth was barren and void. Directions meant little to us now. We were far from the river that led to home. All we knew was that we had to push on. We had to see what lay ahead. Then, there on the horizon before us, stretched the greatest spectacle of all. Jojo guessed it. We were witnessing the beginning. at the sea, the sea in which
which life began. This, we knew, was the end of our journey. We could go no farther. We could only pause and stare with awe at the great drama. Across the sea, a sea already teeming with millions of microscopic but living organisms, the fiery young earth steamed and cracked beyond, with the upheaval of a thousand volcanoes gushing red from the furnace of creation. In the beginning, God created the heaven and the earth, and the earth was without form and void, and darkness was upon the face of the deep. And God said, let the earth bring forth grass, the herb yielding seed, and the fruit tree yielding fruit after his kind, whose seed is in itself upon the earth, and it was so. seeing was the inscrutable face of the Indian medicine man, staring hypnotically, still seated at his place in the Haida war canoe. How long we had been sitting in that corridor of the museum, I couldn't say. Had we dreamed our journey to the beginning? It seemed so real. I reached for the new diary I had prepared especially for this trip. It felt strange. Then I knew. This is how it looked when Jojo recovered it in that Paleozoic swamp. Can man transcend the barrier of time, project himself into the past or into the future? I wish I knew. <laughs> 